Yeah, that was Wild Rufo. The last in and they're away. And breaking fast over on the far side, Master Planner is up there. Apple Dawn's up there on the far side with Clifton Charlie on the near side. Poets Co. broke quite well with Orfad right up with the lead too. And Orfad on the stand side, just about the leader. Orfad over on the far side, running very fast now is Double Blue. Conciliere is not far off the lead, nor is Tofan Blue. They're coming down now past the three marker. It's all fad on the near side with Lock Song upsides him. And let's be honest about it. Over on the far side, KV's among the leaders with also Heather Bank and also Double Blue on the far side and Viceroy up there as well. But on the near side, it's Lock Song the leader. Lock Song now from All Fad is the clear leader on the near side. Over on the far side, it's Heather Bank and Consiglieri finishing well. But Lock Song on the near side looks to have a commanding advantage. They race into the closing stages. Lock Song from Duplicity who moves into second and up the line. Lock Song has just won it from Duplicity. It's a photo. Consiglieri and Heather Bank and hard to figure are just behind them. Duplicity and Lock Song are the two. Duplicity in the centre of the course. Lock Song on the near side. Lock Song had a commanding advantage inside the final furlong, but Duplicity was making ground all the time, and he looked quite close. John Reed looked over towards his left and saw on his left Lock Song's rider, Willie Carson, who felt, I think, that he just about hung on. Lock Song number 27, Duplicity number 7, and it's close for the minor placings with Consiglieri, hard to figure, and Heather Bank in that photo. Well, a typical Stewards Cup, and has Lock Song done what Sober and Madraco did? One from a low draw. It looks that way. Always in front on the stand side. Lock Song with the other big gamble of the race. Ochfad in the blue colours. On the far side, double blue in the green colours. Is always in a good position. Heather Bank hit the front on the far side at this point. Consigliere in the green in the yellow cap. Dropping out is KV with the white cap. And coming from way off the pace is Duplicity coming up in the centre of the course, number seven. At this point, Lock Song's got an advantage of two, two and a half lengths with 75 yards to go. The gap's closing all the way to the line, but Lock Song has the resources to hold on and wins the Stewards' Cup from Duplicity. Back in third is Consigliere coming back to six furlongs and Heatherbank looks to be four.